The St. Baldrick's Foundation is raising money for childhood cancer research one head at a time. This Sunday, March 16th, you can be a hero for a child with cancer by giving up your head of hair at the Santa Ana Star Center in Rio Rancho. We're here to talk to us about this event and how it helps children who are fighting for their lives is Deputy Chief Paul Peer Beers. Beers with the Rio Rancho Fire Department. Thanks so much, Deputy Chief, for coming in. We also have Battalion Chief Thomas Parascandola, also with the Rio Rancho Fire Department. Good morning to both of you. So for those of you who are not too familiar with the St. Baldrick's event, uh, let's talk about what it is first. Go ahead. Uh, uh, St. Baldrick's Foundation is, uh, is established uh, around 2000 and is to, uh, to raise money for uh, childhood cancers. Uh, to raise money for research, to raise mm -hmm. money for treatment, and grants for individual patients. Such an important uh, cause. As I was doing a little research in the U.S., more kids die of childhood ca cancer than any other disease. Mm -hmm. uh, Deputy Chief, why do you guys uh, get involved in this? Well, we, we think it's a, it's a truly noble cause. I mean, uh, most of us became firefighters uh, to help people in need. Mm -hmm. And this kind of is an extension of that and uh, it goes beyond our response to, to 911 mm -hmm. and, and to help uh, kids that, that are truly innocent victims. Sure. And uh, it, it's hard to find uh, people that haven't been touched by cancer. I mean, I've got uh, uh, three children that I'm honoring this year. Uh, uh, their names are Augie, uh, Jennifer, and, and Haley. And uh, those three children touched my life uh, mm -hmm. personally. And, uh, and I, I, I feel like it's, it's it's their battle that, that we're fighting, and mm -hmm. uh, this is a great way to, to honor them. And we've got a couple of kids uh, from Rio Rancho that are going to be there that are fighting their own battle, sure. and, uh, and we're going to be honoring them as well. Chief Thomas, so what happens at this event? Uh, we've got a lot of stuff that happens at this event. We've got uh, fire truck displays. We've got, we're yeah. going to have some car displays. We've got jumpers for kids. Uh, everything uh, is free. Admission is free. It's all for donations. Uh, we've got the support of our community. Local businesses are coming in to they, they purchase some tables to advertise their wares. Mm -hmm. uh, the Santa Ana Star Center and everything. Uh, we've got shaving that'll start at or around three o'clock. We start our team shaving. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about this. I think that's what makes this so unique. Right. I mean, obviously, it's a lot of fun and there's a lot of stuff that you and the family can get into. But let's talk about the shaving. The shaving is you know it's, uh, it's the centerpiece of the event. Uh, yeah. We have uh, this year 100 shavers, shavees have signed up. Uh, we have a few females, including my 16-year-old daughter, who has volunteered to shave her head. No kidding. Um, so we're going to be uh, at 3 o'clock is when the big shaving event starts. We get everybody lined up. We play music in the background, and we'll take pictures, and everybody shaves their head just to show that solidarity with the kids that are going through the treatment. Just simply to show that support. And you notice he doesn't have much to give. Uh, I some know. Of, some of us <laughs> don't have the hair there, to give, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, that's you. why I give my time. That's why we do it. Sure, so. but your 16-year-old daughter is going to do that. That Absolutely. is fantastic. Kudos to her. Uh, Deputy Chief, how do you hope that the community will get involved? Is it merely just by show, really showing up and making a donation well, we, being we, part we, of it's right? It's an open event. I mean, even yeah. though this is sponsored by the New Mexico firefighters, I mean, we have fire departments from all over the region that are, that are uh, stepping up. Uh, even though it's sponsored by, by firefighters, we're hoping that people uh, just come. I mean, you can either come to volunteer, you can come just to, to donate, sure. uh, you can come to shave your head. To shave your hair. Yeah, th there's all kinds of ways to get involved. And, it, and it's fun. It's very family friendly and it's a fun event. You all brought some hats. I mean, what? St. Patrick's Day is the 17th. Kind of coincides a little yeah. bit. This is the St. Baldrick's event, St. Patrick's Day the next day. Yep, it was designed like that originally. They, they, it originally started with a couple of guys back east and they kind of came up with that play on words uh, just to affiliate it and give it a purpose. I love the hats, by the way. Very colorful. <laughs> All right, folks, again, uh, information on your screen. It's happening this Sunday from 12 to 4 p.m. Santa Ana Star Center in Rio Rancho. Help to raise $40,000 for cancer research. We've got a link on our website. Go to casa.com. Click on the CASA blog. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming we, and in. And we have a reminder for you to show up as well. To I wear will your wear green. this until the day of the event. There you go. We'll be right awesome. back.